Terraform stacks are an incredible way to help Terraform scale with minimal complexity. A stack is a configuration layer composed of components and deployments. Deployments deploy multiple components to a given environment. Along with stacks comes orchestration rules, which allow for auto-approval of plans when certain conditions are met. For example, if the plan has no resource removals. Stick around for a deeper dive and explanation and walkthrough using Terraform stacks. Why use stacks? Stacks are the first way to truly couple individual modules in Terraform. Previously, you had to use separate workspaces and figure out how to tie them together using run triggers or custom wrappers like TerraGrunt, which often led to architectural anti-patterns. This structure greatly reduces complexity when deploying interconnected services across various environments. Components. Components defined in a tfstack.hcl file are the smallest logical unit of a stack. Not to be confused with modules, components use modules to deploy repeatable infrastructure through deployments. They receive their inputs from deployments and reference them as variables. Any expected variable must also be defined in a variable block, also within a tfstack HCL file. Providers are also defined here and are passed to the modules. Note that stacks do not support modules with embedded providers. Providers. Stack providers are defined in a tfstack HCL file Stacks used a required providers block, which shares its syntax with the Terraform configurations version. However, the provider block includes additional arguments. For example, for each can create multiple providers that components can reference using the each dot value. Remember, providers must be configured at the stack level. Modules that configure their own providers are not supported. If this is making Terraform stacks clearer for you, give it a like. And if you want more real world DevOps walkthroughs, hit subscribe. There's plenty more coming. Deployments. Each deployment block defined in a TF deploy HCL file deploys all components. Components receive values for their variables from the inputs block in the deployment. Inputs are the only argument supported in deployments and they do not support the for each argument. Deployments must have their own blocks. Orchestration rules. Orchestration rules enable two actions, auto approve and replan. Each has its own orchestrate block, which includes a check with a condition and a reason. The condition determines whether the check passes. The reason defines the text that will show up in HCP if the check fails. By default, each stack has an auto approve rule named empty plan, which approves plans with no changes. Walkthrough. For this walkthrough, I'll be using demo code and it's provided by HashiCorp and I'll link it in the description below. Create your configurations. Start with the providers.tfstackhcl. Add a required providers block with all the necessary providers then add provider blocks using a for each if needed to handle regional variations. Next, create components.tfstackhcl to define component blocks. Reference local or external modules. Each component is deployed per deployment. Inputs provide values for module variables. Create a variables.tfstack.hcl to define the expected variables, similar to Terraform config variables, but without validation. Then define deployments in a tfdeploy.hcl. Use the inputs argument to pass the values to components. In our example, we generate an identity token, a JWT passed to the providers in the component layer. Finally, define outputs. Use component.resource name to reference outputs from Terraform modules. Enable stacks in settings. Head to the HCP web interface and enable stacks in your organization settings. It's still in beta. Then go to your project, click new and select stack. Choose Connect to VCS and select your repository. Click Create Stack. After the configuration prepares, plans will start running for each deployment. Once complete, you can review them with Quick View and Approve. Clicking a deployment shows outputs and a timeline of any changes. To destroy a deployment, click on it, go to the Destruction and Deletion, and then Create Destroy Plan. Approve the plan to destroy the deployment's resources. Stacks are a powerful way to scale Terraform and eliminate the need for third-party tools. Every organization I've worked with eventually faces the problem that stacks solve. I'm excited to see how this feature evolves. Plan on scaling infrastructure with Terraform stacks. DeOps Digital, a certified HashiCorp implementation partner, streamlines your journey with expert consulting, platform readiness, and end-to-end -end training. Optimize your DevOps strategy today. Visit deopsdigital.com or email info at deopsdigital.com. 
In my next video, I'll cover design considerations to get the most from stacks. Got other topics in mind? Drop them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. If this helped clarify Terraform stacks for you, drop a like, hit the subscribe button. It really helps more engineers find this content and lets me keep bringing you practical DevOps deep dives every week.